I kind of called a Democrat on Twitter because my profile says mm -hmm. I have, yeah, because my profile says I have no political, no, no political affiliation. Oh my God. And good morning, Vietnam. Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the podcast where no one never knows what the fuck. <laughs> um, let's start off talking about stuff. This was a completely, I just finished eating Chick-fil-A podcast. Yes, she has no idea what to say. She's just stuck. Stuck is a great reboot feeling of how I am in this relationship. See, you're not even Englishing very good right now. I'm just gonna roll the intro. Did that very, very long, drawn out seven seconds help you out at all? Help me out with what? Rebooting my brain? No, oh, you know, like seven seconds. I was, they don't know what you did during the intro and outro. We could have gotten up, gone to the bathroom, gone to the bed, taken a shower. You could have already put all your makeup back on. They have no idea. <laughs> that whole duration, because there's no audio from our end, they have no idea what happened. We could have been gone for four hours. There could have been a tropical storm. <laughs> we could have lost power. You'll notice that our friend is not here. Sorry, but I'm wearing him. It's a it's a blank spot ready for a sponsor. Yeah, we need we need some sponsors. Mm -hmm. Sponsor woman. What? Why are you looking at me for that? Because everyone knows that sex sells. So you're quite literally whoring me out if I, to get sponsors. If, if we if we A B tested marketing material with only my face and marketing material with only your face, which one do you think would win out? I don't know yours. No, okay. no. All they need to you're... see is from here to here. But your target audience is going for that grizzly man. No, I'm just going to call the Democrat on Twitter because my profile says mm -hmm. I have. Yeah, because my profile says I have no, poli no political affiliation. Oh, my God. The guy was uh, butthurt at, at Justin on Twitter last night. And he was like, oh, profile Michigan fan and no political affiliation. We know that that means liberal, liberal fucktard. I was like. Why don't you, since you're doing such a deep dive into Black Rifle Coffee and you're so invested in the $50 that their em former employees donated to a charity based on a joke, or not a charity, to, uh, was it blue, Vote Blue or something? I don't know what the fuck it's even called. If you're so invested in pulling up screenshots and not actually even looking at any of the other information, because it's a cropped screenshot that has been going around for years. Like, I've known about it for years. Everyone's done. They've made their own videos about it. This is the first I'm hearing any of it. So yeah. I'm just trying to follow this story. Yeah, Evan Evan made a donation to something and two former employees made a donation to something. And just these people latch on to the dumbest little things. And I was tagged for some reason. And I was like, really? Really? You guys are you guys are dragging me into this? Because they wanted you to troll this person. I know, I know, but you are I, I want to the troll I, of all trolls. I want to troll someone that I actually agree with. That's even more fun. What? Yeah. Because then when they're like, when their friends or whoever come out and they're like, hey, dude, he was just fucking with you. And they're like, really? You are an exhausting human being. I cannot follow your logic. Yeah. Like trolling dumb people isn't fun because there's no, there, we talked about this in another episode. There's no getting through to them. There's no getting through them. It's exhausting for me because then they're tagging me and sharing my stuff and they're in their echo chamber and their echo chamber is tagging me and stuff. And I'm just like, you have the lowest IQ of anybody I've ever dealt with. I can't with you. I can't. So I was like, if you're so invested, if you actually want to look up the information, go pull up my voting history. It's public record. So is yours. Everyone's is. Haven't you ever gotten those uh, flyers in the mail in voting season when they're like, uh, you voted this way or you voted that way. Your neighbors can find out. Or you didn't vote at all last year. Your neighbors your neighbors will know. No, I have never received one of those. What kind of threat is that? Your neighbors will know. I'm sure my neighbors already know. They are or, an asshole. Or have an assumption. And I know or have an assumption. I could probably guess everybody in the old cul-de-sac without ever asking. I can probably guarantee that with... No, actually, the one that I would assume might be left-leaning, they go to church. So um, if anything, they're probably more 
central libertarian, if not just, I mean, he's also an Air Force veteran. That doesn't say anything because the military population is pretty split anyways, but you have a, a veteran, you have somebody that goes to church, somebody that is homeschooling their family. Like that's not typically the liberal demographic. That's more of the conservative demographic right now, right now. Homeschooling might've been more liberal 10, 20, 30 years ago, but now it's definitely people don't want their kids groomed and coached and stuff like that anymore. So it's these, we talked about this as well, the pop-up academies, all these different things that I want to talk about today. Oh, okay. You don't even know about this. Oh, gosh. I've known about it for a while. Everyone knows about those, uh, taking a deep breath, those boot camps. And actually, we, um, we vaguely talked about it because there's like a TV show about it. It's like Navy SEAL training or whatever. And I'm like, eh, it's not really, it? but it's like famous people. They're going through like, okay. Yeah. I think I'm following. Let me, let me take a breath. Let me... Hang on. I'm scared. I'm scared. What if I told you? Mm -hmm. There are people, men, men. Oh my gosh. In quotation marks. Paying $18,000. Okay. To go to like a couple day boot camp. They're paying. To become more manly. It's called like alpha camp or something like that. I, don't, I actually don't know what it's called, but that's what everybody's posting about. Alpha male boot camp. I never in my wildest dreams would have guessed $18,000, maybe one or two grand so, for a couple of days. So, but so, yes, er, so people I been, believe it. People have been going around. They're like, dude, you can just, you can sign up for the Marine Corps, the army, and you can do a free. And I'm like, actually, it's not even free. You get paid. Right. It's not a lot. There are incentives. There are sign-on bonuses. It, it's not a lot, but it's the exact opposite of pay. Right. <laughs> but no, they just want a little taste of it so that they can put it under their belt and make them feel more special. I'm basically a Navy SEAL because right because I've or I went to a two day sniper school. No, no, I'm saying me. I'm saying me. I'm basically a Navy SEAL because I've shook the hand of a Navy SEAL. Oh, to do even hear you say. So have the kids. Yes. Um, I mean, I've known more, but just uh, wow, Sean, what is his last name? I can't think of his name. Oh, who we met up in Virginia Beach? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm basically a Navy SEAL. I'm basically a Green Beret because I know Tony Cowden. Okay, so basically I went to Ranger School because you've been inside me. Yeah. Oh, that's how okay. That that's how that works. Yeah, yeah. So just bow down to me. You know everything because I told you. <laughs> yeah, no. They need to salute you because yes. I made, because I made <laughs> E5 one time. I'm a sergeant. You better, <laughs> not even an officer, but you're going to be saluted. Oh. Uh, Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is so stupid. I haven't. Like, I guarantee you, it's like the new midlife crisis. So we actually it's no longer the Corvette. It's the I went to alpha school. Sure. I yeah. am sure an alpha male. Sure. I, now it's time for my third wife. So let me. So let me ask you this then. Now knowing this, and we talked about sending cash to a. Uh, a military, a kid's military camp. This is like fun camp, by the way. This isn't like punishment camp. Yeah, this yeah, isn't, yeah. And they explicitly even say that. Like, this is not, they don't want kids that are acting up. They're not there to correct your kid. Mm -hmm. They want to um, give them like a sense of pride. They want to teach them that they can do all of these fun and dangerous things, mm -hmm. help them form new habits and it's like just, boy scouts on steroids yeah, essentially yeah but summer camp like right. and it's fun because you get to go right. do you get to go do all the things that you would potentially be doing in a real boot camp right. and it's only a couple weeks and they have different tiers and iterations they have like a first level basic one and they have age groups for different things so if you're a returning visitor you have other activities you can specifically do like a leadership and military police thing so there's a lot of stuff to do, and there clearly there's a lot of people going to it. But after hearing that, you still cool with that? This isn't this year, by the way. It's he's too young right now. Because I think what was thirteen was the or twelve was the youngest. I think twelve. Um, it's still within two very different groups. The camp for children okay. is designed for children, and it has a positive mm -hmm. message. Whereas the 
alpha two, three day training program of I am man is a bunch of bullshit right. for rich people to feel special right. and then come back and go back to their shitty ass lives. Visit he's wrong, she's right dot com <laughs> if you want to support the channel. Um, we will have buttons on there where we will be offering an in video shout out. Oh, okay. You can throw you can throw any dollar amount you want. There, you know, it's uh whatever you want to call it, name your own price kind of thing. You can just say I want to give them three dollars. You can do that. You're not going to get anything for it, but um, there will be tiers in there that you can set up as recurring, or they can be one time. It's all the way up to you, or completely up to you. Not all the way up to you. I guess it is all the way up to you, and completely up to you. I don't know. Um, it's both. We also have the uh, the AI pictures and stuff of you are on our Patreon for free subscribers. They're not publicly visible. Our our videos are publicly visible right now because we don't have exclusive content. But for free zero dollar members on Patreon, you can see the AI rendering images that we were going through on one of the first couple episodes. The um, art that we had generated as the uh what's that called like when you're prototyping i'm not good with words today i'm not good with words today either and i'm trying to follow your story when you're when you're like uh you know like when somebody's like sketching something and they like give you a couple like options before they go all out and make the real thing they're like what do you think about this and like this and they like combine somebody will somebody will know it this is of course the number one rated most boring podcast on youtube after all hashtag boring af yeah. thanks I think his name is Sean also. Oh. I was first YouTube subscriber. I left him a comment and everything. Wow. Yep. It's him holding his phone with a website that he made and trying to scroll to it to the beat of the music. It was kind of awkward. And I was like, this is great content. Please make more. That's really <laughs> weird. What a weird thing to do. That seems like something a 12-year-old would do. And I think... He looks about 40, so. Aw. Yeah, Maybe he should go to that man camp. You know, and like I told you, so his channel's like nine years old. Okay. His, so his channel's nine years old. He has one video that was put up four years ago. Okay. Zero subscribers. Except for you. Seven views, yeah. Well, yeah one subscriber now, yeah. Okay. Um, And seven views. Yeah. So his mom, his aunt, yeah. himself, yeah. the other and remaining he, times. And he's only ever commented on our video. Aw, Mr. Thustic really loves you. I, so YouTube must have added this recently. And of course, I don't, I I spend the most of my time uploading to YouTube or consuming YouTube from my TV. So I'm not clicking on people's profiles, reading the comments and engaging with anything. I consume it as if it's literal TV content. And this was the first time that I actually dove into somebody's profile, just like looking around, creeping on them. They knew this because I thought there was a possibility that maybe it was somebody that I knew. Mm, gotcha. I mean, I guess there is an always uh, there is a possibility that somebody you know and it's a completely made up side profile that yeah. And for whatever reason, I didn't get there was a comment in moderation. I didn't get a notification about it. And it's from one of our early videos. It's from Nathan Webb, which was one of our board members. Oh. And he was talking about you. He was he was defending you on something and for whatever reason it went to Oh, I know. Oh, what, it what was. is it? I want to know because I said or we, you wouldn't say uh, the R word. We'll just say that. Oh, we'll yeah. No, I won't. <laughs> I won't. So that it it moderated his comment because of that word. I believe there weren't any other words in there that I could discern. It was like this is that's how the military is, Nona. But I get it. Andrew's kind of dumb. Thank you, Nathan. I appreciate it. So I obviously have low standards, but yeah. that is so no, no to boot camp for me. Mm, no That's can fun. you go to like a, a woman camp absolutely not and like learn to be more caring and tender nobody wants that you know i don't the way my sideburns look right now why did they, why did they come up so long like that um you you need to take care of all of that whatever one day i'm going to was that like uh was that class called homec homec camp um i was thinking therapy that's what, what I homec? was thinking. What's home ex thing? Home economics. It sounds to me like money. Okay. I thought it was like baking 
Yeah, it is. Doing. It's a little bit of everything. It's a very 50s class of being the perfect wife. Did you take homework? Yes, I did. Did you get a good grade? Yes, I did. Do you feel that it shaped me value? to be a better wife? Do you feel that it brought value to your commitment to me? Uh, commit commitment was definitely not part of the curriculum. It taught me how to bake brownies. But isn't part of that like how to be a woman? This is how you raise your family. This is how you make sure that your husband comes home and is happy with you. Isn't that what that's kind of all about? Isn't that like the subliminal messaging? Um, well, I took it in late middle school, I believe. So either seventh or eighth grade. And there was just, oh, okay. Let me get this then. You're welcome. Um, there was no part of it regarding a relationship that wasn't part of the seventh, eighth grade home ec curriculum. I was moving everything around. Oh my god! What? No, I'm trying to get my, uh, trying to get my leg out here, but I'm trying to yeah, I gotta spread my legs. Uh, Plus, it looks better when you're not on the edge of the camera. When okay. you're is this middle. better? Yes. Hopefully, the mic isn't fucked. It's not. Okay. Or maybe it is. They'll they'll stop listening right at this moment if it is. Well, so. Why don't you tell us about your experience? My experience in home ec? Yeah. Um, honestly, I don't really remember much other than I learned how to bake brownies. I sewed some curtains. Um, and then that was about it. Why curtains of all things? Was that, did you bring something from home to do? Um, yeah, it was create a project that you could use at home. So I made some curtains for it's kind the of downstairs I, bathroom. It's kind of what I did in my, or what the class was called. It was like, it, it was like home ec, but for guys. Like we had like a woodworking shop and everything like that. So I brought the, uh, that pantry that is at my mom's house, those um, French door pantry thing. Mm -hmm. They had, and I think I made a comment that they were, they were taken back down again or something. Mm -hmm. They were, they were weird. Um, they weren't, the, the doors were never built really to last the actual like inner panel of the doors those cabinets were put in by my parents so only i don't know 20 25 years ago but that pantry had so there's like shelves in the back and then it's like the it's like bifold front so you can flip one shelf i'm sorry there's a whole row of shelves that's fixed then you have shelf that are like doors they're hinged that you have like shelves on the front of those and then shelves on the back and you can swing one out, see what's on the back or get what's on the fixed shelf, swing what's on the back, see on the other side. And then the doors also had shelves and they were damaged or something in some way, like the, the hardware that connected them. So I took them to school and completely tore them apart, rebuilt them with the same wood and then remounted them to the doors. Nice. And then I saw that they were off again. Home at class for boys. What a um, built a clock. Misogynistic term. There were definitely boys in my home at class, and I also oh, yeah, took... there, were, there were boys and girls. Like there were, it was obvious. The architecture us, 101, us, and I had to build with wood as well. So, girl, well, we had to also the same idea. It was CAD class, and then the final product was having to create something that you were going to actually use in your home. See, our, I wasn't going to build a whole house. CAD is design. The actual building or making is, for us, was a completely different class. Yeah, I wasn't in woodworking, but this was just the final product within that class. So I took like um, digital and analog electronics classes, so I knew all about that stuff. Um, the only thing that I didn't do was building trades, but I didn't do building trades because I was taking college classes to become an architect and sad for Purdue when I checked, cause that's where I got my credits for, for that. Um, they got their asses kicked. When I looked, there was like seven and a half minutes left just on my phone and they were losing by like 25 points. I just got their asses kicked. By whom? UConn. Okay. So tangent on that. 
You should shout out Jake and Carissa and their friends again. He's supposed to be sending me over talking points. He's still waiting on this. He said his friends are nervous about what we're going to say, and he's writing it, so I guess I would be nervous too. Now I'm scared <laughs> to see what it's going to be. I wanna, I wanna, as long as it's not the R word. Or yeah, the N word. I'm gonna look. Not at, saying either of those. Yeah, yeah, we we're not gonna ever say the other one. Word. There's a lot of words that I won't say. I'll say fuck all day, but. <laughs> Laura and Taylor. Okay, Laura and Taylor. And I'm scared to know what we're gonna have to say. Yeah, I should start remembering people's names. Mm, that's okay. Actually, one of my things is that I don't ever remember people's names. I don't either. I remember faces, but not you names. Have, you have to make a very, very, very good impression on me. For me to know who you are. I used to tell her that I didn't remember who she was talking about because. He literally said that my friends were so boring that they were not memorable. And he just would blur all of my friends together as one blob. Some of them are going to watch this. and they're gonna, is that Will that be the first time that they'll hear about this? I haven't told any of my friends that we're doing this. Nick and Courtney, I'm not talking about you. You guys are cool. It took you like three years to get to that point. Do you remember Nick and Courtney? Yeah, and say that they were okay people. I don't ever remember having a problem with them. I didn't know. No, 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 no. You need to backtrack. I never met them for the first part of our relationship because she had some, uh, what do you call it, anxiety. And you're like, I'm going to go hang out with my friend or take her to lunch and she like ghosted you dozens of times and stuff like that. So I never even met them until like a year into our relationship. It wasn't a year. It was literally two and a half months later, but no, it was. It wasn't. No yes, way. It was. No way. Do we have pictures? You take pictures of everything. Okay. Um, Doesn't mean I'm in them, but. <laughs> go back to the video of you slow-mo smacking my ass, and that was the second time we were going over to their house. I don't because know I, I don't know how to find that. Was baking. If it had your face in the video, your face. But... And I was bending over the oven yeah. to pull the stuffed shells out, and that was the second time we were going to their house. We had already, I had already introduced you to them about a month prior to that. Okay. So it was probably early October that I introduced you to them and then i think it was november that i made dinner for everybody gotcha you guys should visit nonaphelps.com see erotic pictures oh my god visit leemaxmedia.com the america's technology center of excellence veteranwiki.org make a donation you know what what you make a donation to veteran wiki to one of the standard tiers that are defined and tell you what's included in there. We'll put your company logo on the end credits of every video for a year. Wow. Yep. For a year. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I think the That's lowest a huge incentive. I think the lowest tier uh like defined donation is a hundred dollars or I think so. So it's not it's not a big ask. For well, a year's well, worth of advertising. Well, we're producing three videos a week, so. You'll get a nice bang for your buck. Yep. And possibly something else. I don't know. No promises. A dick pic. Yeah. It won't be mine. It'll be that. that Which, by the way, price. nobody sent me a dick pic on my Venmo. Send your money. Come on. Well, you said that when I said my at eat my feelings, yeah. people were going to start sending dick pics and nobody well, sent money or dick pics. I'm very has disappointed. That, has that video come out yet? Because we recorded all those out of order. I don't know if that one's even out yet. I thought that's the one that came out yesterday. Do you know which one came out yesterday? It was the third one. Right. I think it was the third one. I think it was. I haven't listened back through. We had to power through three videos in one day because we had done... Actually, what we should do is three videos in one day. That way I have as much time as possible to get them cut up and edited and get... Well, we had done that, material. only we still haven't even received the video and audio from what we did with our two special or non-special guests, whatever you want to call them. What, what, what did you decide you're going to call them? Special guests? Yeah. I don't know. We're still figuring that out. We don't know what to call them. Somebody can suggest yeah. it. Yeah. 
And remember, at 100 subscribers, all you have to do is be subscribed and I'd love to comment get on a, any video. Get a gift card to Amazon. And we've, we've started uploading shorts, reels, TikToks, whatever you want to call them. YouTube calls it shorts. Okay. So you can even comment on those. Those videos are shorter and snappier. They get, they get right to the point and they have subtitles or captions or whatever. He showed me one of the bloop. Yeah. Love it. So funny. I should have done the uh, animation on the video, but I was trying to crank stuff out. You can do another one. Yeah, I'm sure. Can you? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Make another one. I'll think about it. It's really funny. It is funny. I love the idea of your penis making a little bloop sound. Yep. I might get a, you know those sound boards that you used to be able to get where you could buy like, it was like a little touchpad thing. You know, you get like a Peter Griffin one or a character from a specific movie and each button was just a sound bite. So it was like something they said or a noise or they make programmable ones and I'm okay. sure they have, I'm, I believe they used to have or still have apps for stuff like that. So you could just have, there's, I'm sure there's probably one. So while we're fucking. I can lean over and yeah. start pressing. Exactly. Maybe we'll, I'll take one of those Arduinos and do like a some sort of sensor, just a moisture sensor. I have it anytime it senses moisture. There's a speaker module and stuff like that as well. I'll put it. She's so wet. I'll build it into the headboard so you don't even know where it is. You'll be sleeping and hear this what? having wet woman dreams. And you'll start hearing bloop behind you. Oh my God. I had the best dream the other night. Oh, did you? That reminds me when you said that. Was it like a wet woman dream? Was it like mine where I said that you were in a hurry to get the kids from some emergency and you drove through the Tour de France plowing through all the bikers? Is it as good as that one? Because that's a good one. Okay. Well, that, you know, super mom. No, you said a wet woman dream. Oh, okay. So I had an amazing dream the other day. Are you going to tell us the details or are you going to make them ask? No, there are no details to share. It was just really good. It was really good. I woke up feeling very refreshed. Did you orgasm in your sleep? Yeah. Oh. Totally. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Oh, this is going to be the clip. That's what I'm going to put as a short. You didn't know that? It... No, I didn't know the women had wet dreams. So good. You? Other woman in the the what <laughs> one other woman subscriber? Yeah. Do you have good dreams? No, wet woman dreams. Wet woman dreams. Oh, well, but see, when you say it like that, it makes it sound like I'm dreaming about a woman. No, I'm definitely not dreaming about a woman. No, it definitely sounds better when I fuck a it up. Wet woman dream. Yeah. It definitely, it's funnier when I fuck it up. Okay, you just love fucking up everything. Yeah, intentionally. Okay. You know that I respect you if I actually call you by your real name. Is that why you call me woman? I don't. Because you don't respect me? I say Nona. No, you say woman. You're like the, yeah, you're the first girlfriend slash wife that I didn't always butcher her name. Girlfriend slash wife. I'm saying out of all of them, comprehensive list, you're the only one that I didn't butcher or do something with their name i mean my name is pretty short it's pretty impossible to butcher unless you literally called me the wrong name like your ex-girlfriend's name instead oh no i'm not talking about that i'm talking about a variation of your own name not somebody else. there is no variation of my name no no you said that people have called you that before you got in elementary school to be an or, asshole. Or Nana. Nobody's, Nina. Nobody's ever, somebody's said Nina before. Nobody's ever called me Nana. But I'm saying there's a lot of very, very easy one letter swaps. Bona. Noner Boner. No, Bona. The swap in the first B. That sounds terrible. Well, and when I swipe your name, because it's not a common name, it autocorrects to boobs, which yes. is awesome. Which is what you automatically think of me for. They're your two favorite things. Yeah, but it's but it's it's perfect because the letter and the letters are right next to each other, so it knows. I am boobs. Yeah, boobs, McGee. We can autocorrect this. We can update your dictionary, or your wife is named boobs. 
There we go. Where are we at? We're only at 32 minutes. That's it? Yeah, so far, we're not done. I didn't have like, good dreams last night. I felt like night. there was a topic that we were supposed to talk about recently. Mm, I don't know. You said we should talk about that. You always say that and you don't write it down. And they say that I have a bad memory. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. They're funny. Says, says the woman that has perfect re- recollection and puts everything on the calendar and then showed up two hours for her own dentist appointment this morning. Two hours early. Yeah. Yeah, I felt like the dumbest person ever. And the story gets better when apparently there was another person with the same last name booked for the hour before my appointment. And paid her bill. I paid her bill because I only said my last name, not knowing, of course, that anybody else with the same last name was booked for the same day. So I paid her $528 bill. And then I looked at the receipt and was like, wait, what? What is happening? Uh, are you sure you have the right person? Oh, yeah. Mary Ann, right? No. So I just paid Mary Ann's bill of $528, wow. who has the exact same last name as me. You're welcome. So for a whole three and a half minutes, her bill was paid, and then the charge was, of course, reversed as soon as. But there's probably going to be a computer glitch. You might have your money back. Right. But watch. It's going to look in the system as if it's paid. Oh, it's like you already paid. Yeah. Oh, "Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what she was getting done to her mouth today, but it cost a lot of doll hairs. Was it copay or that was without insurance? I have no idea. I, it obviously didn't know details because. <laughs> See, you wonder why I'm so yes meticulous. About I learned my and... lesson. I learned my lesson. Ask twice. I just mean, ask twice. I look at the receipts. I at least I have a unique enough last name that you can't mess it up. But, but I have a unique first name, not for, a unique for last line name. Items, apparently, for line items, if you pass me a receipt at a restaurant or anything. I'm looking at every single item. Well, it's, what was nor- that? normally it wouldn't have come to that in this case. I was so flustered because not only did I actually think I was 10 minutes late to my did appointment you put it in the calendar? at 9 a.m. Yes, I put it in the calendar for 9 a.m. And so I hit all the traffics and multiple construction j- zones. So I thought I was 10 minutes late and I was apologizing profusely for being 10 minutes late. And then I say my last name and she says, oh, your appointment's not until actually 10. So you're actually early. Oh, okay. So in that time, you can go ahead and take care of your bill since you're actually early and not 10 minutes late. Oh, okay. Okay. And Hence the $528. And then, wait, wrong name. Completely. Oh, your appointment's actually not until 11. Nona, not Marianne. So two with the same last name, back to back at 10 and 11 a.m. So nice. I was feeling all kinds of stupid this good, morning. Good job. I know. I, I still feel stupid. So. Yes. What's going on? We haven't read comments or anything in a while. Okay, go for it. I didn't aggregate. Sorry, I thought I was going to burp. There we go. I didn't aggregate anything, but I remember that Rick texted me last week. Okay. He texted me. He told me that he left a review on Apple Podcasts, but I, for whatever reason, an Apple Apple Podcast Connect doesn't show me, doesn't show me on Spotify. I don't even know where to find it because I don't even have an iPhone, so I can't even get Apple Podcasts. Um, but he said, frankly, I'm a little disappointed to see only one written, one written review. We have other ratings. We just only have one written review. Okay. Uh, what kind of friends do you have? LOL. I said, well, I have zero friends. We've established that. I said, I I actually can't even see your review. I can't figure out how to find it. So he sent me a screenshot of it. He said, I know these people in real life. One time Andrew scratched a niche in the middle of my back that I couldn't reach. Stand up guy. (laughs) 
and Nona tolerates them. So if she can, if she can, you can too. When you listen to this podcast, oh, that's the nicest thing Five anybody stars. would say. Yeah. I tolerate you. Oh, yeah. very cute. Yep. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Thanks to the person listening to this episode that's going to go and leave us a review right now. Thank you in advance. Oh yeah, we'll and we'll it. read it if we uh, ever get to see it. Yeah. And if it's on Apple Podcasts, go ahead and just screenshot it and I, then email it to I, him. I am I am working I am working on a ticker animation that'll scroll on the bottom. What's a ticker? Like a news ticker or stock ticker. Where oh. it scrolls across the bottom. Okay. And I can put it on a loop. I don't watch the news, so I don't know. But you knew what it was as soon as I said it. And it's that's No, it. I'm pretending like I do. No, you know. <laughs> I'm well, doing see, what you told me you to see, do. You, Fake it. You see the stock prices moving across the bottom <laughs> or you see other, you know. The news is talking about one topic, but at the bottom, they're scrolling other. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I have seen that before. So it's going to be that with comments and reviews. Okay. So our one review slash comment will no, now not, be not, under not, the ticker. Not just from YouTube and Apple. I'm talking okay. about from everywhere. Okay. As I come across it, if it warrants, it'd be better if it's on YouTube so they're all in one place. Okay. Yes. But. Yes, please. Go to YouTube. If you're commenting replying somewhere as long as you're not a chinese or indian scammer we got a random your seo terrible send bobs yeah we have another uh response from some squiggly gibberish spaghetti name that i can't what did you just say squiggly gibberish spaghetti name yeah. what does that even mean when the letters Look like spaghetti. Are squiggly and gibbering. Looks like he's threw the pot at the wall and picked what's duck. And that's okay. her name now. Did you know people actually test spaghetti that way? Why? That's what they think you're supposed to do. And somebody told them very wrong. But people okay. think you're supposed to test spaghetti. <laughs> what's wrong with you? I put the camera on you that whole time. That's completely intentional. I kept saying I was trying to get you to do a spit take on camera. And so instead of doing a spit take, you just spit on me. Get your composure. Oh, I have no composure. I'm so exhausted. I got like two, three hours of sleep. And so I'm delirious at this point. like a baby. I know. You were snoring right next to me the whole time. You were trying to cuddle me in the middle of the night. Ew. No, I wasn't. I was telling you to roll the fuck over so you wouldn't touch me. You were cuddling. (laughs) You were reaching your arms out. You were caressing me. And I was like, try to sleep. All right. Anyways. So sleepy. This is going to be a short episode. 41 oh. minutes. So I'll, I'll do the same thing. I'll cut it down and see if, see if it gets us done like 35 and see if people will watch or listen. or. Mm, yeah. God, please cut out me spitting on you. No. Oh, I'm no. so sorry. I love you. I love you too. I'm sorry I spit on you. Fuck cancer. Fuck cancer. Good luck, Lori. Yeah. So funny. There you go. Bye. <laughs>